so we'll run through the initial setup of the camera I've just literally uh, got the battery uh, fully charged and uh, switched the camera on so the first um, setting that I've got to set is the language so I'm going to use English as the language for me next up it's asking if we want to pair the camera with a smartphone now I'm not going to do that now uh, but I will uh, in another video show you how you can do that and the app that you need to download and how you get that all set up so I'm going to um, skip this by pressing the back button which is down here so now it's asking me whether it should show the pairing registration when activated next time and yes why not because I'll need to set it up so I'm going to say yes to that and now I'm going to set the date um, it is 2018 of course and then we've got to set the month which is now oh, we're into September now so there we are and it's the 1st of September the time approximately is 10 to 3 so um. okay um so next up it's just asking us whether we were, um when we sync it with our smartphone or link it up um, whether it should get the location and the time from our phone I'm just going to set that to off for the moment but um, in future yes I, I'd probably want it to pick up the actual location and time but I'm going to change that later on so I'm just going to set that to off for the moment um, LCD power save I'm going to leave that off for the moment um, but again we can switch that on later on in the settings so there we go that's um, we're through the um, initial settings um, we're now ready to use the camera now that we've gone through the initial settings of the camera I'm just gonna go through and essentially tailor the camera as to how I would uh, want to set it up so first of all, the I press, just press the menu button. It's brought up this screen, and it's um, asking us. Well, well, it's not asking us. We can go and actually set particular settings in the camera. Now, shooting mode, I'm going to leave it on scene recognition for the time being. Um, once I start shooting with the camera, I will see whether the other settings are useful for me or whether I just leave it on auto so I'm going to leave that to scene recognition auto ISO I'm unable to select uh, possibly because I've left it on the uh, scene recognition auto mode so then the image size I'm going to make sure that I'm capturing the best possible quality I can get and yep so large 4x3 and then the image quality I'm gonna set mine to fine so this is gonna give me the best possible quality that I can get from the camera the color I'm gonna leave that on standard but you can select black and white or sepia um, if you wish to do that I'm gonna leave mine on standard white balance is set to auto again because of the uh, shooting mode we've got selected Continuous shooting is set to high. I'm going to leave it on that setting. Face eye detection is currently off. Oh no, face is on and eye is off. Um, I'll leave that at the default setting too. AF mode, again, because I'm in the auto mode. Uh, movie autofocus mode let's see what's setting with it's set to continuous so essentially the camera is gonna try and attain focus automatically at all times by itself we can change this setting to center on the um, to focus on the center of, of our 
image um, but I'm going to leave it set to continuous for now again you probably will want to change these in the particular shooting condition you're in movie mode I'm going to set that to yep that's 60 frames per second at the highest I believe we can get and as you can see there you can get up to 120 frames 240 frames and even 320 frames uh, per second shooting but at very low resolutions so there we go I'm going to leave mine 4 HD at 60 frames per second you've got a time lapse option um, again I'll probably go through these in a bit more detail in another video electronic level it's to make sure if you're sort of shooting landscapes you get a, a horizontal level up here um, yeah I, I would tend to find that useful for me so I'm going to leave that on and wireless communication I'm not going to set that up at the moment so I'm just going to go to the setup screen and just show you um, so I can set the date and time but we already know they're correct the time difference so when you do go on holiday you can turn on silent mode so essentially the camera makes no noise in terms of these beeps that you hear um, and yeah actually I'm gonna set mine to on because I don't like that beeping sound and this is to reset all the camera settings and it will take you back to the initial setup screen and here and I'd suggest you format um, even if you've got to pop the brand new card into the camera format the card I've already done this and all you do hit format Oh well, not hit format. So I'm going to just hit the right button. It's going. To, it's asking me. It's going to erase all data. What well, it's telling me. Yeah, I can confirm that. And I'm just clicking OK. And there we go. We formatted the card. So now we're ready to use our memory card in the camera, and we can take pictures. Um, just to go back to the setup screen, I'll just show you if there's anything else. We've got five pages of there. So the image, how long it displays, and image for after it's taken I'm gonna say one and a half second because a half second is not probably enough um, frame numbering just continually goes up and then we've got a few audio settings for shutter sounds and other sounds the camera makes LCD brightness I'm gonna leave that on auto because it will adjust as and when is needed Auto power off set to two minutes. I'm going to leave that. Image stabilization mode. That's an interesting one. So whether we want it to continuously stabilize, and I think yep, I'm going to leave that on and uh, on continuous. I'm just going to hit back. Digital image stabilizer. Yeah, why not leave it on? Red eye removal for when you're taking pictures with flash. Uh, digital zoom never use that in camera so I've left mine off um, zoom movie so movie zoom type optical yep I'm gonna leave that as it is so that's essentially only going to be using the lens to zoom and no digital zoom um, the AF uh, autofocus illuminator which is the um, light on the front yep I'm gonna leave that off I'm not gonna need that I've got my other cameras for sort of uh, shooting conditions uh, wind filter I'm gonna actually just set that to on that's essentially when you've got strong winds um, when they hit the microphone you get you you do hear horrible sound so hopefully that will help reduce and there we go that's the menu um, on the camera and that's uh, every single page I believe which we've now been through so there you go that's the um, Fujifilm XP 130 menu system